Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Wouldn't you love to have a scrolling effect like that on your website? We've got a header or a title, Heroes, and we've got the Avengers from the Infinity War scrolling across the screen there. You don't have to have a really big image like that, by the way. You could have a slightly smaller one or something like that. But this is a really cool and easy thing to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. <music> The first thing you're going to need is a pretty good image. You know, get the best resolution you can. I've just dropped this in as a JPEG. It's about 300 kilobytes. Obviously, do WebP or whatever you want to do. You know, compress it, optimize it. But I've got an image. It's about 3,000 something by 700 pixels in height. Really, really cool image. You don't have to have a massive image because what we're going to do is we're going to put an image in and we're going to get it to loop like from start to finish. There is some little bit of trickery we've got to do with it, but it's a really simple process. So let's get started. So make sure you got your image, by the way, into your media library. Here's the image again. And we're going to kind of replicate what we've got up here. We've got a section down here. I'm just going to go in and create a section. OK, I'm not going to do much more else with that and just create a section. Pretty simple so far. Now, normally when you're adding your background image, you're instantly going to go, well, do we drop an image into here? No. Nope. Do we go over to the section and drop the image into here? Is the style? Again, no. We're going to kind of break the rules here with what you would normally do with Elementor. We're going to use HTML instead. So bear this in mind, OK? So we're going to do HTML. We're going to take that and pick it up and drop it in. So here's the code for the HTML. We've got a class for container2, and we've got a class for sliding background, number2. Why have I put number2? Well, because the one up here is the one container and sliding background. And if I take off the two, it starts to put everything in place, which I don't want it to do right now. I want to show you the steps. So HTML, container and sliding background. Then we're going to go to advanced, scroll down to custom CSS. Now this code is a little bit longer. OK, we have container and sliding background. I haven't put the number two in. I'm going to do that in a moment. What this is doing, the, the very important bit is it is picking up our image. So this image, the URL for it, which you will get from your media library, it's sticking it in there. And the key bit is repeat X. That means that this image on the X axis, because it is scrolling, we want that to repeat. If it does not repeat, when you get to the end, you're just going to have loads of white space or whatever is the color of your background. You know, you might have another image in there as your section background. So it might work for you there, but you can work that out there. If we go to layout, it doesn't actually have a minimum height. I'm going to set this minimum height to be uh, 500 pixels. OK, you can do fit to content if you want, but I'm going to go with 500 pixels. I'm going to go back to my HTML widget and I'm going to make sure that that matches at the 500 as well. I have found that if you don't have a negative in there, it just does not work. OK, I got this code off from another website and I've tinkered with it a bit. But I've got minus 500 because my height is 500 as well. Now over here for the container though, I'm going to set this to be five. Uh, I'm going to leave that as 520 and I've set the width to be 3000 pixels and I've set the animation to be 25. This bit is quite important and I'm going to come back onto that in a moment. Let me now just put in number two and now we have our image and it's moving left to right. Um, if you you may think, well, if I put that as a positive, isn't it going to go the other way? No, it doesn't. And look, this is what happens. You get this kind of thing. So if anyone knows how to stop that, please put it in the comments. OK, I am not a massive expert, but I'm just showing you what can work. So this is going left to right at the moment. If I was to change this to be, say, a 300, this will affect the height of the content within the section. The section is 500 pixels. I've said, mate, I mean, I've got 520. Let's just put that down back to uh, 500. In fact, that is now 500. If I was to put this to 590, it actually pushes the content down. So whereas with the section, if we go back to it over here, I've got a, sorry, no gap columns gap. Height is minimum height of 500. If you do go to the HTML, custom CSS, and you increase it to be a bigger size, you can do that. But I like to keep things consistent. So we're going to go with 500. Sorry, I had 520 in there before. That should have been 500 there. And the minimum width is 3000. Let me show you what happens if I set this to 300. Can you see it? And because it's doing that, 
okay, uh, it's creating this huge amount of white space. And you will say, yeah, but it's repeat X. Don't ask me, okay? It just does that. So I've put 3,000. And you will find that it does loop, okay? Because I've studied this so many times, it does loop for you. So don't worry about that. But here's the really important bit. If I set this to be five seconds, it's going to go really quickly, right? But did you notice the jump just then? Let me get rid of this bit here. Did you notice? There you go, the jump. So what? let me wait for the jump. I'm going to give you a five second count. One, two, three, four, five, jump. One, two, three, four, five, jump. So every five seconds, it kind of resets. And this might annoy some of you out there. But what do you imagine? A lot of Lottie animations, a lot of GIFs, a lot of things you have on your screen sometimes, you know, animations, they might be a bit of a jump. You know, Optimus Prime car turns into a robot. Unless you do a smooth reversal, it will be car, robot, jumps back to car, robot. It doesn't go car, robot, robot, car. All right, so that kind of thing can happen. Now that does slow down the animation, but I think it's a more gradual one. And to be honest, well before the 35 seconds is run through, you've already gone from start to finish and now you're halfway through the second um, um, sliding motion before it does the reset. And I would like to think that unless you've got a really complicated hero banner, they will have moved down anyway. And even if it jumps, so the heck what, okay? It's gonna be 35 seconds, all right? And you're pretty okay there. Now, when you do add in your content though into here, now we've already added in HTML. Here's something that will happen that might surprise you a bit. If I take the header and I drop it in and I go to my navigator, the header is underneath the HTML. And it's now done this. Now there's two things you could do here. You could either drop in, um, you could either have another section and overlap them, or what you could do is just do a negative bottom margin. So I'm gonna go with uh, heroes. I'm gonna set it to white. I'm gonna give it a bit of a transparency, something like that. I'm gonna give it a typography of uh, iceberg. And I'm gonna make it, 184 pixels. Now at the moment you can't see it, don't worry about that. So there we go, I've done a minus 370 negative margin and now we've got it up there. Let's just brighten that a bit, it's a bit too... Now here is the downside though to doing it like this. Um, at the moment, and I saved this bit for the end, this is not set as a full width. This is set as a box at the moment because it's a section. The HTML sits in the section. Let's go back to our section and make it full width. And then what's going to happen is the wording is now all the way over. The way to get around that, obviously, is go back to your um, your heading, go to your advanced, and this is where you might now set some further, like padding or further margin on. So you might say, look, it is always going to be um, 200 from the edge, maybe not 200, 150 from the edge, for instance. So just have a think about your placement and all of that. You could also drop in an inner section. Um, so over here with this one, this text is actually sat within to the text over here. There you go. We had an inner section. I did in the header. That inner section was a box width of 1,220. And then I just again did the overlap there with the header. So it kind of just sat over the text. But there's, there's many ways you can do this. Whatever works for you. But the key focus of this video was the HTML. Okay. You gave it some naming. Container, sliding background, I put a two in there. You go to advanced, you go to custom CSS, you drop in your image URL over here, and then you just kind of play around with these to get it to look exactly how you want. But that is a pretty neat way of just adding in something a little bit different on your website. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. And of course, I'll see you soon.